Hello, it's vlog time again. And as I said, no backdrop this time. It's all in the kitchen. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do things in the usual format, if you like. I'm going to come up with the bad things first and, and then go on with the cheap, more cheery stuff. Starting off with something that was very bad. A um, couple of weeks ago, a week after my last vlog, uh, one of our cats, Matt, he started just over the weekend. He was fine on the Friday. Saturday, he got very tired and was clingy to my wife. Uh, Sunday was the same. And then Sunday evening, he just took a downturn. Um, got the cat basket out. We're going to take him to the vet first thing in the morning. But he passed away in my arms at 1.20 on Monday morning. So, yeah, that was utterly gutting. So, <clears throat> now we have four. But yeah, he's, he's going to be missed. He was a lovely cat. He was the one who would actually, he was the one of them who would actually cuddle up to you and give you chin rubs and things. He was lovely. Yeah, he's going to be missed. But yeah, this is life, isn't it? I mean, got to get on with things. So on with, on, on, on with the vlog, because that was the hardest bit I've probably ever done. Uh, yeah, Royal Mail. Royal Mail again. Utterly, utterly disgraceful. Now, I understand the strikes. Don't get me wrong. I understand the strikes. I understand delays. What I don't understand is when tracking doesn't get done. So something you're waiting for actually goes completely missing in tracking for two weeks. It did turn up with no intermediate tracking. I chased it up time and time again. Got completely ignored. You know, Twitter... Usually pretty good for getting responses. Call Royal Mail on call up Royal Mail on Twitter. They said send us a DM with the details. They, they sent them the DM with the details. That was the last I heard of them. Nothing. They completely blanked me. So yeah, Royal Mail is for support. I as I say, the deliveries, late deliveries I was expecting. So but yeah, so, you know, tracking, nah. And support, nah. You you that's nothing to do with strikes and industrial action. Delays are Poor support didn't. Okay. Um, Uphold is another one. I've been using them for my crypto stuff. And since recently they did a, a card. I think I probably mentioned it in one of my vlogs. It's a virtual card which uh, gives you 4% cash back in Ripple currency. Well, I made some purchases on Amazon. I uh, had one I had to have refunded because it didn't turn up. Refunded back to the card and it never turned up. Chasing them up and I can't get anywhere with them i can't get anywhere with them uh three times i went on to their online help live help they said oh we'll transfer it to email and open a ticket and uh, nothing for days opened another one oh stop opening tickets it's going to make delays well then it took uh five days before they got back to me again and said oh we're passing this on now to our our card department five more days saying oh well you're having trouble with xrp are you uh, okay, no, I'm not having trouble with XRP. You haven't read it. I got a refund pundit pending and you, you're you holding on to it. You haven't given it to me. You've stolen my money, basically. So, yeah, as soon as my cash back is clear in January, I'm withdrawing everything out and closing my Uphold account. I'm going to write off what I got there. I've stopped all brave rewards now. Uh, it's only getting pittance. Okay, it does get money. It is free money, if you like. Um, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it when you've got to put up with that. So, yeah, once again, a company has lost my business due to poor support. OnePlus will be the next one. They upgraded to, they upgrade, updated my phone to Android 13. Yeah, fair enough. Good on the updates. Completely stopped it connected to my watch. And again, on to support. Nothing. They wanted me to do all sorts of diagnostics. The diagnostics take absolutely ages. So they wanted me to basically work for them. Um, it was, it was the same, it was, it was the same everywhere. Look in the forums, it's pages and pages of posts on the same thing. Nothing from support, apart from completely useless suggestions. Um, they said we'll do, we, uh, uh, the latest version got a bug fix in it. No, it, it, it didn't work. Anyway, out of desperation, I looked once again in the forums. It was a few weeks later. And uh, somebody said, oh, sign out of your OnePlus account on your phone and sign back in again. And bugger me, that worked. <laughs> so, yeah, I went on to support. 
um, told them this is what they should have done. No response from them, of course. But yeah, OnePlus will be... My next phone will not be OnePlus. There's another one who's lost my business. Because, yeah, their support is on the pan. It used to be... It never was good, but no, it's completely useless. Okay. Ah, the last... Um, the last bit of the gripes yesterday. Steam controller. Trying to set up a custom one of my home builds on the Steam. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. You set it up, but all of a sudden, it wants to do down all the time. Everything is doing down. There's no way to override it without unplugging the stick. Works fine with actual, you know, pre-configured controllers, ones you buy straight from the shop, but not with the ones you build and flash yourself. So, yes, yeah, and there's no, no help from Steam. I've checked forums and everything. They're just completely useless. You ask Steam support, they'll tell you to check the forums. <laughs> yeah, we need you to fix the fucking controller setup system, the config system, because it's, it's confusing it with others. It's just, just complete crap. Now, <clears throat> under some funny stuff, Twitter, yeah. Elon is really making a mess. This, I haven't left Twitter. I'm not going to leave Twitter. Um, but I am standing back with popcorn. Because he keeps posting this crap up. And I mean, the latest one was, oh, you know, I'll, I'll, um, I'll step down if you vote me to. Well, they voted him too. He hasn't stepped down. And now he said, only paid members now can vote. <laughs> yeah, nice one, Elon. I think Twitter is showing him out to be what he really is. He's just got a few ideas and then he throws money at it. Well, this time he's taking on the internet and he's going to lose. <laughs> so, yeah, nice. Uh, and, oh, yeah, I've, I've, I've literally had to make a shit post as well. Literally a shit post. I got sent a bowl, bowl sample, uh, a stool sample kit for a bowl screening because of my age. Now, apparently, some people are saying you don't get that till you're 60. Well, I'm not quite 60. I got a, a two and a bit years to go. But yeah, I did it. I did the sample. It was just it was just during the start of a strike weekend, if you like. So I left it until after that and sent it off. But I literally had to make a shit post. <laughs> now, I had another Twitch payout. Um, in December and with it I bought this Moster now I turned the autofocus off because it was going back and forth back and forth so I'll keep it by here what this is it allows me to connect various old uh, sorry new modern controllers and mice into a retro system such as what I got, the Amiga and the Commodore 64. I've used it with a mo as a mouse for the Commodore 64 for IRDB holder and that works perfectly. But yeah, nice little thing. It apparently uh, allows you to use things like PlayStation controllers as well with it. Um, I haven't tried that yet. I will try it on the Amiga next time I get that out because I want to see if Devil Temple's, Devil's Temple works with two buttons. Okay, now... I actually won a challenge. Um, this was Exerian on Antstream for Zypho's channel. Uh, sadly, because of work, I wasn't around to um, choose the next game. But yeah, I actually won a challenge. I already had a high score up there on Antstream, and um, I basically added another 100,000 to it. <laughs> I like Exerian, as you might guess. Oh yeah. And also, also... Um, I found a way to get Epic Games working, and coincidentally, GOG Games as well. There's, um, there's a program out called Heroic Launcher, which um, it uses it, it uses the uh, Proton of Steam. So uh, it allows me to run a hell of a lot of Epic Games and GOG Games on my computer, which is Linux, of course, not Windows. Um, I did a search, I did, and just randomly do these things now and again and yeah i got it all logged in i've tested it out works perfectly nice one <laughs> nice one for the wine derivatives because proton is a wine derivative and wine of course wine is not an emulator provides windows system calls for linux machines and finally I, uh, for my ati card i've I got opencl working it's a bit of a bugger with ATI cards because usually you've got to put the proprietary drivers in, uh, headless. But uh, that doesn't seem to be an option anymore. 
you got to put the whole lot in. Now, I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to risk that. But I had to look at how people have got DaVinci Resolve working, because that uses it. And while DaVinci Resolve didn't actually work properly with it, it's a bloody monolith, that is. It's just massive, and it's overkill for what I need. I'll stick with Caden live. Uh, I do have open, OpenCL 3.0, so now i got ha access to my GPU. So, yeah, another good thing. Oh, yeah, and I think that about wraps it up. It was a good Christmas. Um, yes, we got just about everything we wanted in time. Um, I am sad for people who had a bad Christmas, but I worked my ass off, basically, and I'm not one of them. I had a bloody good Christmas. And um, I even managed to survive Whamageddon. Didn't quite get the hard mode. There was something on television where there was a cover of some bloody reality show crap that uh, I really love. You know, those reality shows. Oh, one of those Christmas things. It was teams of soaps or programs and they were singing songs. And when they were doing the recap, it was last Christmas. So I, I didn't get hard mode. And this was at like quarter past nine on Christmas Eve. But I did not hear... The original Last Christmas. I did, and, and we got cats playing back here, haven't we? Are they playing? Is it? I don't know what he's doing. It's it, it's Sheldon. It is. Should we go and should we go and get a bit of kitty action before we finish? One of the one of our little survivors. It's Daisy. It's Daisy. There we go. There we are. She's a living plushie. She is incredibly fluffy, she is, and she doesn't like being hold, so I won't hold her long. There we are. That's Daisy. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, okay, we'll end it there. Thank you all for listening and watching. And um, three weeks' time now, regular back on a Monday. Catch you on the next one. Da-da-do. <laughs>